Hello, this is Gabe Madden. I'm going to talk about the hazards posed by the El Cedo volcano. It's going to be my second time recording this, so hopefully I can figure out how to get it get it working this time. But other than that, let's talk about some volcano. So, some general vol some general information about this volcano. The El Cedo volcano also known as Volcano Alcedo, is part of the Galapagos Arpedulo, and more specifically, Isabella Island, a band of islands along the vol along the equator that has an area of almost 5,000 square kilometers. Uh, the Alcedo volcano is like one of five or six different volcanoes on Isabella Island chain. Yeah, so I think it's the smallest one out of all the volcanoes. The volcano is classified as a shield volcano with subcategories of caldera and pyroclastic cones that are also important to the physical formations unique to this volcano. Uh, something that I can add to that is since the volcano is basaltic in nature, it's got a lot of basalt present, clearly, but it also has some anomalies of rhyolitic, just little vesicular rhyolitic formations just along the volcano, which is kind of kind of different. The summit of the caldera of Alcedo has a width of seven to eight kilometers. And with the volcano being a shield, the lava produced will have high temperature and low viscosity with a high tendency to flow. Therefore, this volcano also has low gas content and low explosive potential. And we just got to make sure that the people who live closest to the volcano are most aware of the hazards that can be posed by an active erupting volcano. <sighs> the most recent eruption of this volcano was in 1993, though it was unrecorded until 1995, when an expedition discovered two discovered new craters and deposits, leading to the conclusion of an eruption two years before. And what I find interesting about this and the eruption prior uh, was the fact that it went unreported. So no one was present for the eruption. So, like, that kind of leads me to believe that the hazards posed by this volcano are relatively low. Because if no one can even, like, be present for an eruption, then uh, that kind of tells me that the eruptions are kind of less grand than, like, I don't know, a more explosive eruption. So that kind of leads me to believe that the hazard associated with this volcano is relatively low. Prior to this eruption, there was an eruption between the years of 1946 and 1960. And again, this is just like a large amount of error present. No one knows when the volcano went off because no one was present for it due to the I don't know, just the remoteness of this volcano has just led to a lot of gaps in the geologic history. But that's, that's, that's why I'm here to uh, assess the hazards that can be posed by this moderately docile shield volcano. And then as for the actual hazards, the main threat that could be posed would be to people who live on the neighboring island town of Porta Via Mil, that is within 100 kilometers of the volcano. So that is not much of a problem. There is not too much hazard posed to those people. They just gotta look out for, I guess, volcanic fumes. And as long as they follow safety procedures that are common, with dealing with active volcanoes, 
everyone will be okay. Uh, within 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, and 30 kilometers of the volcano, most of the population comes from tour groups, like geological surveys, and uh, these, these big old turtles, these Galapagos giant tortoises. In the event of an eruption, those tour groups should not be there. That's like a bad time to take a tour of a volcano. It's like when it's exploding, that's when you should definitely not have people nearby. Those who are trained, like trained professionals, the USGS people, or just people doing a geological survey of the volcano, they should they should know the procedures to follow when uh, being near a shield volcano that is active and has the potential to erupt. And the turtles, I don't know. If it erupts, the main hazard, I guess, it could be posed to their habitat. But also, the turtles should know to stay away from the lava. It's too hot. So, with this volcano being a shield, and taking in all of the things that I've, I've researched about, it's got low gas content, it's got low volatility, it's got low viscosity, and it's got high temperature. So as long as you're not standing in the magma, or the lava, you should be fine. And the fact that the first, or not the first, yeah, the, the two credited eruptions, the two credited eruptions, the, just the fact that we missed the, the, the eruptions just kind of leads me to believe that the hazard posed by this volcano is not exactly grand, like, it's not, it's not like a traditional volcano where it just explodes its lid off and destroys a town or whatever, but the hazards posed by it could still, I don't know, disrupt the habitat of the turtles, at least. As for loss of human life, it's pretty low, pretty low chances that that could happen, but people are dumb, so who knows. But other than that, that was my last slide. Uh, hopefully you learned something. I just wanted to give a brief overview of what I've been, I've been messing around with this semester. And hopefully you learned something. But other than that, that's all I gotta say. Have a good Thanksgiving break. And hopefully we'll be back here next semester. Goodbye.